Hi, Bob Hot Rod Roar from Cleffy. Now I want to talk about automatic fill valves and what an automatic fill valve does. It's a way to maintain a pressure in a closed loop system and it can be a hydronic system, a hot water hydronic heating system. It could be a cooling system like a chilled water system. It could be a geo system. Any system that you've got to maintain an accurate pressure in it. So we make a line of valves to uh, do that. But let me show you, this is a fairly typical valve that you'll find on the market. And with this valve, you have to adjust the screw to get the pressure that you want in your system. So you're going to need a gauge on this somewhere to be able to adjust that and know where you're at. So that's a very common, very typical valve that you'll see out there. We've got a very unique valve from Cleffy. It's probably one of the finest in the industry, and I want to show you what's different and what's unique about that. And this is what we call our auto fill valve. Now this is a, fit, a set it and forget it valve. And let me uh, explain what I mean by that. Let me get this turned the right way. You'll notice on the top of this valve there's a little a dial, a little gauge on there. And all you have to do now is you take, it comes out of the box set at 12 pounds, you take and you can put a screwdriver, a coin, sometimes you can use your thumbnail, and you turn that to the pressure that you want in your system. Let's say we're going to put that at 15 pounds pressure. And what this valve is going to do, it's going to fast fill all the way up to that pressure that you set that at. So there's no need to build a bypass, a fast fill ball valve bypass around this because as soon as you turn this valve on, it's going to fill at about 5 GPM all the way up to that pressure that, let's call it that 12 PSI setting. And as soon as it gets up that 12, you'll hear it shut off quickly. So uh, set it and forget it and fast fill. That's really the, the plus of this valve. But it's also very nicely built. It's a unique valve in the way that it's constructed and the serviceability of that valve. And let me go to a cutaway here to show you what I mean about that. <clears throat> so there's kind of what it looks like under the hood. A couple things unique on this valve is we have a shutoff here. So if you have to isolate the system, you don't need an additional valve over here. You can just turn this valve right here and you can see there's a little seat in there so we can shut the fluid off right there, the flow through this valve. Another thing we do here is we put a uh, nice screen in here. So we're, what we're trying to do is we're keeping any debris that might come through your, your water system, through your main water piping and stuff, from getting up into our sensitive uh, diaphragm and stuff here so we can make sure that we can maintain that good accuracy and control on that. That is uh, serviceable and removable like all the Cleffy components. We assemble them with a fine thread and an O-ring right here. So if you have to get in there and you want to take that screen out and see what kind of dirt or debris it's, is in there, it's easy to get the top of this valve off and get in there and service that. There's also a little spring-loaded check valve that we give you in here. Now most codes are going to require some sort of backflow preventer, but we do give you that additional check valve in there. Let me show you what that looks like. We've got another version of this because what's happened now is the commercial contractors say, well, we'd like a valve that fills a little bit faster than that 5 GPM that this one will typically do. So we came out with a more um, of a commercial product. And we made a couple different changes on this. I think the uh, installers and the, uh, the trades are going to appreciate. And what we did on this valve is we put a pressure gauge. Because typically on a commercial system, they might work at a higher um, fill pressure. So what this allows you to do is you can just turn the top of this valve here. You'll see a little ramp that indicates when you're increasing or decreasing the pressure. And now you've got a pressure gauge to know what pressure you're filling your system to. Um, comes with union connections on it, easy to install. We can give you that in a threaded or sweat version. This one's going to fill approximately twice the flow rate of the smaller half inch autofill version that I just showed you. So that's our commercial um, version of the fill valves. Now I talked about this being off, uh, offered with a backflow preventer. And I want to tell you a little bit about backflow preventers because there's some good stuff to know about a backflow preventer. So that's what it looks like as the assembled version. We can sell it as just the autofill valve here by itself, but we offer it with that um, double check backflow preventer. Let's take a look under the, the hood of a backflow preventer. So what we do with our backflow preventers is we put a screen in here because we know what causes a backflow preventer is debris getting in there to all these check valves and all these seats in there. So by putting a screen in there, we're keeping the debris from getting into our, um, into our check valves, into our seats in here. But let me explain what happens. I've got to turn it this way so I can show you better what happens with inside a backflow preventer. So when the water is coming in this way, it's going through the screen first. And the very first thing that happens is the water pressure causes that spool to push to the end there. And when that spool pushes to the end, if you can see, there's a little O-ring seal that's made there. And what that does is it closes off this drain port on the backflow preventer. So you'll notice uh, that the springs are different tensions in there. I don't know if you can tell that. Um, they're wound a little bit different, so the first thing that's going to happen when the pressure comes into that is that's going to shove all the way tight like that, closes off that port, and now the next thing that happens is these check valves are going to open, and that's going to allow the fluid to go through the device, through that center portion now, and into the system. So if anything fails on the pressure on the incoming side, that check valve there is going to release, and it's going to allow the fluid to go out the drain port. This is what's important with a backflow preventer. 
is what can happen with these is on a system where you have a, a valve like that shuts off quickly and typically it'd be like a washing machine solenoid fill valve or a dishwasher valve. When those valves, those solenoid valves shut off very quickly and they'll cause the system to hammer, you'll get a water hammer. And what that water hammer is going to do, it's going to come back to the valve and it's going to make that just bump quickly like that. Well, over time, if that does that occasionally or every day, what's going to happen is you're going to get a little bit of deposit on that seat, or you might get some debris that's coming through your incoming water that can get through that small screener, and it's going to cause that valve to seep. And you'll come back and they'll say, well, I've got a drip coming out of my backflow preventer. Well, that's what happens. Well, what we do with Kalefi is we make it very easy for you to get in there, disassemble this valve, and you can actually clean that out. The valve doesn't need to be replaced. It's just got something stuck in that seat there that you can get in and service this valve. So it's put together right here with a fine thread and an O-ring seal so you can disassemble both ends of that and get into that check valve and just clean out that little, um, that little seat surface in there and get it back into business. So um, it is put in with unions also. We go back to this one, so if you do want to change one out, it's quick and easy to just take it right out of the system. Maybe take that, put a new one in, take this one back to your shop and clean it out and keep it as a spare. So, Probably my all-time favorite valves from Kalefi are these two autofill valves and this backflow combination. They're just nothing else in the industry compares to this for the fast filling features, for the set it and forget it, for the user installer um, ease of putting these in. So that's what we have from Kalefi and our fill valves.